In this next section, I'm going to implement our new arrivals. Now, if you look at our products table, at no point do we have a date added okay, to show the latest arrivals. We do have something else, though. We have an ID that auto increments, automatically increments by number every time. So when you look at this, if we were going to get the last four arrivals, it would be 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the other thing to notice here is we have a, a, a four grid here with Bootstrap. So one, two, three, four. So when I go to the code that the student uh, submitted, the first thing I'm looking for is the div class item. Okay, so we're in the container arrivals, and this student did a, a whale of a job. And I'm going to basically delete all the other items here because we're going to loop uh, four times. And look how it's indented. I can actually kind of work with this. And so when we work inside this, um, we're basically going to work right inside here because we're going to need the loop. So everything we have here is very straightforward and I, I credit the student for making it you know, easily understandable of how it works because basically I just need to repeat this four times. So I can literally put this inside my PHP if I wanted to. Okay, and now I can just run with, you know, the, the query itself. So when we look at this, what are we getting? Uh, I like to, to actually take this and, and look at the products table when I, when I do it. We're going to need, we're going to need the, the ID, the SKU. Uh, we'll, we'll need the name, the image, and the cat ID. No, we don't even need, yet. We need the cat ID yet. Um, so the name, the image, uh, that's pretty much it. And the price. Okay, so basically, I can write my query right here. This is the thing I screw up the most on. Um, basically, pro uh, table names and, and, and field names. So we need product ID. We're going to need uh, the, the name. All right, we'll need the uh, price and the image. And we'll need it from the products table. And we'll have to order by product ID descending and we're only going to grab four of them. So that's our query. So right now if I were to run this query and this is something I do a lot when I develop I'll just you know back check myself you know you work long long hours you maybe your brain's not quite as sharp and that's okay. And notice how slow the PHP my admin's loading right now. I've had a real problem with my server today. But I usually run the query first to see if I get the expected results. And that way I don't, you know, have an error down the road that I have to correct in the middle of the night. Um, so this is going to be my query. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to just go ahead and set that up. So I'm going to call this get, uh, we'll call it get latest. Get latest. Oh, here we go. So now I can run this query right here. We can take a look at it and see if I get the four results. Hopefully I do. Um, but I think a big part of that is because I opened this up. Now, on my monitors, I usually keep three monitors on my desk, and I'll have the database up, probably both tables and the code itself. So I can just look at it. Um, so we'll let that run. Sorry, it's taking so long. So this will be get latest. Okay, And I'm trying to make these uh, variables as intelligent as possible. Because I know me. And I've been coding with myself for 20, 25 years, and I know that uh, I make many, many mistakes. All right, the query went through, and there's our stuff. So we got we got Jonas, chicken plushie, happy happy avocado plushies. Everything we need is right there. Now, hopefully, I named my images right. So, all right, so get latest. That's the query, and then we'll execute it. I'm going to keep consistent with my executions. There's a lot of other ways to write a query. We can fetch associative arrays. There's a bunch of stuff, but I'll keep the same one so that you can get used to just that one one method. All right, so um, get, and then we'll have to do our, our loop, okay? So, well, scalar get latest row equals get latest uh, fetch, like that. Okay, now that loop, we just need to loop every single time. So now we're back again to this. And again, kudos to the student for formatting it intelligently. I mean, it really, really helps. Now inside here, <clears throat> we can work with the rating. Okay, now the rating is another thing that I have to go back and probably copy from the index. But right now, you know, we can do consistently just the way we did in the index. We could do the the loop. <clears throat> so let's do uh, the same way we did in the the original. And here we go. For each products as product. 
and products here is at the top yeah, fetch oh, yeah, I used fetch all that time so let's let's use that we'll use the same we'll just keep it very very consistent so fetch all let me go back to the top I'm sure I'm getting you guys all seasick so product fetch all and here we go we'll do the same for each loop which I like I don't I, I like being uh, this will be get latest um, so that products is good and then we'll do for each as that section so for each oh my goodness there we go for each as product and then we can just do our um, our PHP inside there which I really like so now we have the item and we have a span sale and the item image this will be background image and I'm doing exactly exactly what the student did I'm not changing his code at all um, so this will be the background URL. I'll do single quoted. Actually, let's do double quote. <coughs> Excuse me. And this will be double quote as well. And this will be product um, and image. So uh, scalar product. Whoopsie. And image. And I may have to change my query again because I. Uh, I do want to get the uh, the rating system. Oh, sorry, that's FileZilla acting up. So here's the span through, and you know what we can do? We can get the price and add five to it. So like the first one can always be like this. You know, we could do um, cur price equals product uh, price. And the slash, you know, that would be the the old price, okay, equals product price um, plus, oh, it helps if I spell, or cur price plus five. Okay, whoops, sorry. And so what I can do is put these inside here, you know, and just do, okay, well, PHP. Echo, uh, curb right, uh, old price. That's the one that gets uh, having problems typing today. I'll tell you that. Okay, so that's old price, and this will be the new price, the curb price. And when we lo look at this, um, thing is, when you're doing a screen cache, you don't want to rush this stuff. But this is the, the buy and add to cart and the rating system. So right now I'm going to take a look and see if what I've done is... I, I definitely have to end the for each loop, by the way. I did not do that. So let's go ahead and make sure that that is done. So this is the end for each. And this will be done after this section. So there is... Let me make sure we get it right. Here is end for each. And that's our item. So for each is product, there's that. And with the semicolon. And now we can load it up and just get some data in there so that it works. That's all I'm looking for is uh, card implementation. And we'll do uh, implement.php. There we go. So we've got cur price equals prod price. So PHP wasn't turned on for that. And that's a sort of obvious screw up. Um, I need to make sure that this ending tag, because I had ended the PHP before. I sort of like that shorthand. That's a nice way to do things. So now we've got this. Okay, so uh, we got the Jonas Brothers, and I can do image um, stuff here. And we got the cur price, not the latest price. So the cur price says five. So that means we had an issue with our prod price. Oh, that's because I did. How did I do that? Um, anyway, so we've got cur price plus old price. Now we've got a number, and we'll work our way through this. But it is kind of fun. Um, I don't think it's a really hard thing to do. But this, this, and now we have the cur price, which needs to be outputted. So we'll out open up PHP again. Thing is, can you act, can you uh, recognize your mistakes? And that takes a while for a lot of people. Um, to get comfortable with this stuff. 
So now we have our uh, Platypus t-shirt and our uh, new arrivals there. And um, I'm going to, you know, we won't worry about the the functionality yet. Um, the, oh, the name, the product name needs to be changed as well. So right here, let's do PHP Echo Scalar Product Name. And here we go. So there's, I think we're looking good. Um, there we go. So we've got the images. Um, I know it's working right, even though the plushies, there should be a second or a third plushie image, but I can fix that later. Um, so one thing that I'd like to point out is this is very procedurally oriented. Uh, as you grow, you, you'll probably end up make, creating functions out of this, the function like get product. And after that, when you start writing functions, you're going to end up going object oriented and you'll create a, a class that has those functions. And they all relate to the same functionality, whether you're getting a product or a category. Um, but right now I'm working just so you can get the project done and start the path of learning so you can start actively coding, actively programming using PHP. And that's sort of the point of all this. Um, it's not uncommon to have an object and then an instantiation method called just get product, you know, with an arrow and maybe I, an, an idea of one or two or three or something like that. And then you'd include the object at the top of the page. So I'm going to end this video on this note. And in the next video, I'm going to add the buy to cart, the add to cart, and the rating system that we can reuse. And then I'll do the popular item. And then lastly, I'll finish it with the carousel.